What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. One of the, my sponsors, Steel Supplements. Link and discount code down in the description. Also in the pinned comment. A lot of people taking advantage of the bundle they have. T-shirt, shaker cup, handful of samples, $9.99 plus shipping. Also, you know I'm a Weeble preferred of the Best promotion they have right now in the pinned comment as well. All you have to do, go open an account. They're going to give you free stock if you deposit even a dollar. They are going to give you more free stock. Now, I don't often do this, but in this case, watch this entire video. Because a lot of times when I sit down with a concept, and this one was relatively straightforward, to compare what MLB The Show just did to what Madden had done in the past in returning a feature, sometimes I learn things that go totally in a different direction than I ever intended. So first and foremost, here's where we'll start off with. If you haven't been following MLB The Show, they sat down with Jazz Chisholm and showcased a new game feature that allows you to scan yourself into the game. And Jazz Chisholm thought this was incredible. He was going to scan himself in the game even though he's already in the game. But they showed the producer of the game going through, putting himself in the game through the app, and it absolutely looked incredible. Now, the reason gamers want this is, number one, immersion, right? If you're in the game, if you see yourself in the game, it's a really cool thing. It's very fun. But as far as content creation is concerned, how many channels would benefit from a feature like this? And what's interesting is EA Sports had done this years ago, actually a decade ago, with Game Face. Now, when you look at the Madden landscape, there's a lot of channels that do my player, my career, but a lot of them have shifted over to playing the career of a current NFL player. And I think if we had kept on with Game Face, which went across multiple platforms, you could really see a change in the dynamic of how much someone wants to play a game. These are features that we've asked for. And I guess to that point, you see that in the fact that MLB The Show brings it on, but also, no one asked for this to go away. No one went to EA Sports and said, hey, can you take this out of the game? We don't want ourselves in the game. As a matter of fact, if you search right now, go back to that Madden 13 content, you'll see some creators were actually using Game Face at the time, but then it kind of went away. And to be fair, I think EA Sports technology might be a little better just from the outside looking in. We don't have what the show is doing completely, but if you look at what EA had, it may actually be better than what we have today, because before they let you put a photo of yourself in the game, they kind of had you line everything up, and right now we don't know exactly how MLB The Show is going to do this. Perhaps they will. Perhaps they'll have you kind of edit this. They did say you can go in, edit the hair. You can update this all the time. So it is a really good thing. But EA Sports did this top notch. I mean, this was world quality in terms of the game face generator. But what I learned in finding this out, and we all wondered, why did this go away? There is actually a class action lawsuit revolving around game face so in this article it talks about this is something that ea promoted fifa ufc fight night nhl madden pga grand slam tennis nba live as a matter of fact when you try to find anything from ea on this officially they have scrubbed almost all of this the only thing really left are a couple grand slam tennis videos because as you know if you're looking at this fight night is done the PGA Tour is no longer branded that way. Grand Slam Tennis is done. NBA Live failed. So really the only games left are FIFA, which just lost the license, UFC, Madden, NHL, and PGA. So basically half the games that we're using this are no longer there. But what they found out during this class action lawsuit is it's possible that EA may have collected biometric data through the game face feature without complying with the proper requirements in Iowa or Indiana or one of the states that begins with an I. I can't remember where this class action lawsuit was followed. I probably should have went back. Illinois, Iowa, Indiana, any other states with an I? 
off the top of my head, it's one of those states. I know it's one of those states that begins with an I. But I think this also brings in an interesting question is, all the time we hear people talk about, go start a petition against EA. Somebody needs to start a lawsuit because of the quality of the game. Here's a lawsuit that literally started just this year. And I don't know anyone in the community that's talked about it. And in all fairness, unless you were actually going and looking for this actively, which would require you to be a pretty long tenured content creator. Because as I said, what we're talking about here is seeing a feature in the show that predates a feature that EA had 10 years ago. So you would literally have to be a content creator for 10 plus years. You'd have to be involved with games for 10 plus years to even know that these things paralleled and i understand there is just as big of an argument as why did it take 10 years for a video game to catch up to what ea was doing and also why does ea remove these features and not tell us why when the community obviously still wants them when other games are involving them there's a double-edged sword here because i think a lot of the questions i have about ea is their ability to innovate what are they doing that makes Madden the highest standard of sports games? I don't mean football gaming. I mean sports games. What are they doing that other gaming companies look at and say, yes, that's what we need to capture? Other games are doing this backwards, right? If you go look at what the NBA series does with 2K, multiple commentary teams, right? That's something we want in Madden. When you look at the show, broadcasts, all the things they do to replicate players uniquely. Again, those are things that people can look at and say, hey, this is what I want. The new NHL series has a my player mode that looks incredible in terms of its depth. So all these other sports genres give us something as football gamers to point out and say, EA, we need that. We want that. But I don't think EA does anything where gamers point out in other titles and say, hey, that's what I want in my baseball game, in my hockey game, in my racing game, because it just doesn't have that level of innovation. If EA Sports could have continued to do this, then clearly it would have been something that gamers still pan for and obviously would have put creators in a position where they could have made much more detailed content about themselves within a game than obviously just going through and trying to play out the career of a generic NFL player. To that point, if you go back to a show like Angry Joe that's constantly ridiculed EA for putting only so many faces in the game from a custom standpoint and then limited options of how we can realistically customize them, simply throwing all the sliders in and not really giving us any bearing of how we make these faces look real has just lended itself to becoming nothing short of a meme. Now, I will stop as far as saying EA had to remove this because they weren't properly capturing the data, but it does seem strange that if that was the case, they probably would have known about this long ago, ceased using game face and you would think if they were improperly collecting data they would have later came out admitted it tried to settle with a few mutt packs perhaps and then brought this back in because clearly they spent a lot of time a lot of technology and let's be honest there's not a lot of things in any game that branches across so many different games where you can use it and apply it in so many titles, even like I said, ones that are no longer available. So it's really interesting to me all of the way this came to fruition. Again, what was to be just a simple video of, look what the show's doing, they're doing something EA did 10 years ago, and we've been asking for it all this time, really turned into something a lot more than I ever anticipated. And I would love to know what you guys feel about this. Do you remember the feature? Would you want them to bring the feature back? Do you care that there's a lawsuit about this feature in EA using your face in a way they may not have been able to do collecting your data? Love to know your thoughts on this. I appreciate you watching this video, and unlike EA Sports Game Face, I will be back in the week with more commentary.